They have great influence and they now seem to want to do something for other people. And I don't want to criticize anyone. The one thing I would say to those individuals is that get together, get like, you know, like minded people that are just like you and come together with a con with a with a with a with a vision that will be very consistent and make sure that it's not media driven. And uh, if that happens, then it's a great thing because ultimately they're all trying to help individuals become better individuals in a, in a great country. Wise words from Jim Brown, Stephen A. What more can be done? Well, I mean, I, it's really not, it's, but so much more they can do, to be honest with you, in my opinion. I mean, certainly you want to make sure your presence is felt. You want to make sure that you're a conscientious observer. You want to make sure that everybody knows where you stand and what you stand for, and that it, it leans towards a very, very positive thing, not just for yourself, not just for your franchise, not just for your teammates, but also for the community and the American community at large. You certainly want to make sure uh, that you resonate in that fashion, uh, because it's important for us to, to love one another, just so you know, learn you know, hatred is learned. Uh, and just like hatred is learned, love can be as well. And so you got to take it from that perspective and attack it with that level of fervor. We all understand that. But in the end, it's about the American community at large. Uh, on far too many occasions, we look for athletes uh, to stand up and, and recognize the situation for what it is and speak out. But under, we need to understand why we do that. We do that because we want to utilize them to bring attention to an issue that may be getting swept under the rug or may not have received the attention that it deserves. But once that attention is in the forefront, it's up to the rest of us to step forward and let them get back to doing what they do best, which in this case is playing some football, because I got news for you. I'm watching these guys, and I appreciate their conscientious uh, stance. Uh, it's to be applauded, both black and white players. I'm a fan of Malcolm Jenkins. That's my brother. I look at uh, uh, Derek Carr and others. I applaud them. Of course, the entire Long family, uh, Michael and Martellus Bennett and all of these guys, phenomenal human beings. But let's be very, very clear. At the end of the day, our number one expectation for them is to get out there and ball. And that's what they're going to have to do. Because if they don't, we're going to be upset at a lot of the stuff that we're seeing from them because you're going to have football fans out there saying, the only reason we give a damn about you is because of your ability to play this game. So go ahead and be as conscientious as you want. Just don't forget to show up and ball on Sunday. I mean, the game starts. They're going to ball. These are some of the best athletes in the world in the NFL. Of the large athletes on planet Earth, the best ones, you know, that's not just selected out for hype, but for size, play in the NFL. They're the best in planet Earth. So when the game starts, they will always ball. That's the way it is. When you ask what more can be done, this is the question. You have to start with what's the issue here. The NFL and sporting events generally in the United States almost 100 years ago, started playing the national anthem uh, as though it was this kind of uh, intrinsic part of the event, because it was popular. And, and, so, and, and it is popular, and that's great and everything. Even though it's a domestic sporting event, we know what country we're in, we're not playing another country, we still play the national anthem, and, and, and people like it, most people like it, but it is uh, injecting, uh, if not Politics, at least the, well, yeah, it is. It, it is presenting those in attendance and those who are asked to participate, they can easily interpret it as a political choice to make, and, or, or at least an opportunity to make a political statement. And, um, and so that issue's not going anywhere so long as it's played during the sporting event. And this will be an ongoing issue, particularly now that many white players are showing solidarity with the black players who have essentially said the message is we don't think that we're living up to the ideals that our flag is supposed to represent. So what more can be done? I want to get to that in a second. Chris Long deserves enormous credit for showing leadership here. That was leadership. And now, probably because of social media, who knows, guys, agents, whatever else, other white players are realizing, maybe I should support. Doesn't mean you kneel for a sit for the national anthem. It's that that's not what you want to do. You want to stand. Of course you stand, as Chris Long does. But I'm going to at least do the Pee Wee Reese, as I suggested last week, and put my arm around maybe a black teammate who isn't standing, right? Chris Long showed leadership there, and now others are following. Whatever pressures uh, um, kind of are involved in others following Chris Long's example doesn't matter. The point is, he set the example. That's leadership, and he deserves credit. What more can be done, Stephen A., is 
others must also show leadership the next time an issue like this presents itself. The next time there may be some uh, racially insensitive, or, or at least so, even if it's not racially insensitive, some issue around which uh, members of a race or a certain background feel differently than the majority. There should be some solidarity not in the sense that I feel exactly as you do, but you are my brother, and I'm going to put my arm around you. And, what, and, and so what more can be done is an increasing focus on bringing people into the beautiful multiracial coalition in this country, which is particularly uh, demonstrated in the world of sports at a time when you see a white voting block, essentially, in this country voting lockstep. There's also, on the other side, a multiracial coalition that would like to absorb some of that voting, that other lockstep voting block into, into you know, under their well, tent. And I think that Chris Long putting his arm, you know, just putting his arm around a teammate is a step in that direction, and well, other players should look at that example the next time an issue like this comes up, and I think there's a good chance they do.